Hello! Today's shave is going to be with a Valet Autostrop VC1. I picked up two of them from the antique shop. A VC1 and a... I don't know what the other one is. It's got the folding uh, door on. I think that's a VC2? Or V... I don't know. I don't know Valets, but I know this is a VC1 and I converted a gem blade that I got. I finally sourced some from CVS. Here is the, uh, if you're interested in looking, here I'll put this up to the camera. I got two packs of these. These are the only blades I can get local and I converted a blade using the methods that I watch from Fuzzy and I will link his video. And I'm going to be using Arco. Going to be using Cremo as a pre-shave. I want to try this out. I watched a Someone that's a barber recommended that, so I want to give that a whack. So I'll wet my face up, we'll get on with the shave. I have got a day's worth of growth. No, I've, uh, these CVS blades have uh, brought a lot of life to a lot of the single edge stuff I've got, which is kind of good, so. I picked up a gem featherweight. I'm just going to lather this up real quick and then I'll uh, put the Cremo on. Or I should, should be putting the Cremo on first. Duh. My bad, guys. All right. What else? I got a gem 1912. Got a real good deal on them. Ball and Tex came in finally. I've got the other valet, which is a VC2, I think. But uh, I'm not paying what they want for the feather blades for that thing. And I guess you don't get a lot of life out of them, so. We'll see. I'm not really interested in that. This VC1 was five bucks, so. I'm not complaining. What else? Uh, I got the Q-Shave razor fixed, finally. I did a shave with that, you know, not on camera the other day. There was some manufacturing defect, the ones that I showed you guys, but there was another one that was causing the the uh, twist not to go all the way down. So that was the problem. It was overclocked because of a piece of, because uh, there's Zamac. It was inside the handle. I'm like, huh. Why isn't this going down all the way? I should have spotted it before, but. But now it goes all the way down. There's still a little play up at setting six, but at the lowest settings, everything's good. Hope your shaves have been well this week. Been watching some of you. Good shaves. I saw the video with uh, shaving with peg leg there with that guy that was scamming people with that uh, assured for men razor on e eBay. Jeez. But that happens in other places too, like Mercari, where the three piece, which is hard to get, uh, they're selling them for like four or five bucks a piece. All right, let's check the. Uh, Blade stops. This came with the box and the and the strop, but the strop I need to fix. It's uh, I need to leather glue it. You would never see something like this made nowadays. Oh man, this would be a lawyer's nightmare. So first pass. Such a fine. I've done some. Uh, I did a shave with it there. The other day to you know just test the waters and this is uh I hate to say it, I like my injectors those are my favorite single edges but this VC1 is uh <laughs> really nice I really, this is my first, uh, 
open comb razor. Not that Arco needed any uh, slickness, but uh, yeah, I guess it helped. I can't believe I turned my nose up at these valets. Because I ah, how you can't get blades. I never really looked into them. Getting under the nose is a little easier with this uh, versus a gem. You wouldn't think so, but it is. And I uh, called CVS corporate because I want to know are these carbon or um or stainless steel? And according uh, to them, it took them a couple days to get back to me, but uh, they left me a message on my uh, voicemail and said, "Nope, they're uh, stainless steel." But I've been treating them as carbon. So I put a little bit of uh, mineral oil on them. All right. Feels good. Let's do a second pass. Put a little water to the bristles. What have I been uh, looking forward to uh, shaving wise coming out? Well, I know that Global Shave Club has a toggle replica coming out not i'm not interested in getting it but you don't see toggle clones very often i i saw their fat guy when i first started looking for vintage stuff and i said oh somebody makes a uh, replica of a uh, fat boy but the price just wasn't right for me so all right Second pass. Cross the grope. And I still don't feel uh, comfortable going. I've only shaved with this razor. This will be the second time, so. Neuralink's good on the handle. Angle's easy. Very nice razor.
I don't go uh, cross a grain on my uh, lip because it's a bloodbath every time I do it, no matter what. Uh, let's see. Really need to start doing skin stretching because uh, makes I've got wisdom teeth issues. So, yeah, those are coming out here soon. I sh I'm going to be 35 this month. And uh, when I was younger, they were kind of uh, tell, oh, don't get your wisdom teeth out unless you they bother you. Well, I wish I had because they've started bothering me. So, let us pass. Not looking forward to seeing the reviews on that. Cheap stuff wise, I'm looking for the three piece uh, to that I'm looking to pick up. The Assured for Men three piece. Guess that's on the aggressive side, which is kind of good. I like aggressive razors. Oh, there's a. Uh... Looking at the Rapira razor, the one with the plastic handle. Looking at the Lord and the Shark Razors, the ones with the uh, Mula head. Not so much a tech hit, tech one. I guess it's kind of mild. So, okay, rose grain, last pass. Mostly looking at budget stuff. Soaps? Uh, Colonel Conks. Gonna pick some of that up. I don't know which one yet, though. Let's see. Probably the Bay Rum. You know what? No, I'm not going to do it. I was going to say, yeah, let's try left-handed. This is going to be a little long because this is a, like a, only my second shave with this, so. And you know if you'll have uh, too much angle on this, like a gem, it'll really uh, start Make a noise, so. All right. There you go. If, uh, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen now. Hold on. Let me, uh. Man, nice shaver. Uh, I guess as these get older, the more aggressive they are. I'm still looking into them, researching them, all that good stuff. The only thing uh, <laughs> that I don't care about this thing is, uh, yeah, that, uh, it's easy to get the, uh, the built up, uh, you know, you, you'll you get stubble that's built up like that, and it makes it uh, easy to clean, so. But, no, I'm going to wash my face up here. I'll clean this afterwards. I'm not going to do it on camera and waste you guys' time. So, good razor. Really nice shave. DBS. 
But then say it, I'm gonna be using the Clubman. I really, uh, this stuff, uh, <laughs> my grandfather used to use this stuff and, uh, I've been using skin brace for so much. Not that, you know, you guys would know because I, all my videos, Clubman, 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 but. I'll put a little bit more on. No uh, noticeable burn. Uh, no cuts. Everything looks good. Good shave. No, uh, this worked out pretty good as a pre-shave. I know I didn't let it, uh, I know like there's pre-shave oils and all that kind of stuff, but nope, uh, don't uh, turn your nose up at these valets, especially these early ones. You can convert a blade. Uh, watch Fuzzy. Fuzzy is my go-to when it comes to single-edge stuff, YouTube-wise, not, you know, actually going on the uh, forums and whatnot. But I look at Fuzzy for uh, stuff because he's no BS. He gets down to it. He doesn't go into 20 minutes about the history of this and the history of that. He says it like it is. So if you're interested in single-edge stuff, go check out Fuzzy. And he's got videos with uh, with the valet razors. And uh, the mad scientist of shaving, John, I think, is of wet shaving, John there. He doesn't make videos anymore. It's kind of uh, sad because uh, I re he's he's very knowledgeable when it comes to this stuff, but uh, he's got some videos with the uh, valets and the different blades. So check him out. They Feather makes a blade for this, but I don't know. I'm not paying what they want for that. I can get a pack of these gems for what's it five fifty? So and uh, I convert the blade. No BS. Um. We'll wrap the shave, wrap the video up. So, no, my next shave is going to be with probably do the Gem 1912 because uh, that's a nice shaver. And I'll talk about that one when I do the shave. I hope your shaves have been well for the week. Hope your weekend's been good. Uh, if you like what I produce video content wise, please subscribe. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it. If you like the video, please uh, like it. So, uh, yeah. So, happy shaves, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.